today I'd like to uh, tell you how, um, following a conference that I attended in uh, uh, neuroscience in California, I decided to take a trip and have a look at Yosemite National Park about 10 years ago. And uh, while walking in Yosemite National Park, I experienced something that was really wonderful. That's me there, uh, <laughs> sitting underneath the uh, uh, Bridal Veil Falls. Well, I took that walk and immediately I felt relaxed. And uh, that led to about 10 years of research as to why I felt so relaxed. What was it <laughs> that was causing this relaxation? And uh, it's been a wonderful experience. And uh, let me tell you that 12 months ago, I uh, had to spend, well, the last 12 months, I had to spend quite a bit of time in uh, uh, a hospital as patient and uh, met up with other patients. And it was quite timely, <coughs> that research, because it made me very, very relaxed and very confident about my treatment. And that uh, improved uh, the chances of my treatment being very successful. So much so that uh, when I came out of hospital, I was really surprised because an article appeared in Oprah's magazine about Serena Scent, and my name was mentioned in there. So that was very exciting. But the most exciting thing was my health and also the health of some of the patients that benefited from using Serena Scent uh, in the wards that I was in. Now, stress itself, um, chronic stress is uh, deleterious to us. It uses a lot of problems like hypertension, diabetes, loss of memory, anxiety, um, loss of neurons, infections uh, are more prevalent. Uh, cancer is more easily caught when you're stressed. Infertility and also cell and DNA damage because of the oxidants that build up uh, during uh, chronic stress. So we need to uh, effectively reduce the effects of chronic stress on the system. And uh, specifically in the brain, as we get older, uh, chronic stress uh, reduces uh, our memory. Of, uh, we have memory loss. Uh, also, it induces anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder in severe cases. So it's a very real problem, about 70% of people that go to the GP in the US and the UK uh, studies have been done, uh, basically uh, due to uh, an, uh, an unusual uh, level of uh, stress uh, sometime earlier on. Uh, so stress is a major factor in our lives. And how, do, how can we control it? Well, aromatherapy has long been thought as a mechanism to reduce uh, the effects of uh, uh, stress. And uh, the reason is that uh, signaling is quite uh, um, effective um, with aroma hitting the limbic system, which is the emotional part of the, of the brain. The limbic system is uh, what initiates this uh, stress response. About two years after uh, Yosemite, I was mowing my lawn and uh, I felt very relaxed, unusually, uh, mowing a lawn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was thinking of Yosemite as I was mowing the lawn. And the neighbor stuck his head over the fence and said to me how relaxed the smell of cut grass made him feel. And immediately I thought, there must be some active components within the cut grass and the Yosemite smell that induced me to relax and is inducing the neighbor to relax also. So I began really studying what is actually in the cut grass and the green leaves that induces this. And so uh, we identified a number of active components and we took those components and added them together and formulated something which is called now Serena Scent and is being sold by Neuro Aroma Laboratories. And that scent was very effective at reducing uh, the effects of chronic stress on laboratory animals in behavioral studies. 
And also, it was uh, eventually shown to me to be very effective at reducing the stress and anxiety associated with my condition and the treatment that I had to undergo in the past 12 months. It was very clear to me how effective and how important this research uh, uh, is in the last 12 months. So much so that while I was in the wards, a lot of the patients and staff noticed how um, positive I was about my treatment and how well I slept uh, uh, throughout the night, even though I was in a stressful sort of uh, condition. And uh, they asked if they could have some of the stuff that I was using. <laughs> uh, so in the, in the end, I think I, I distributed something like about 100 bottles uh, of uh, Serena scent to staff and also uh, to uh, uh, patients there. And one noticeable patient that I would like to share with you uh, was Sister C. Sister C was a patient that uh, for the past uh, two months could only get about three hours sleep uh, because of her anxiety about her condition and what the future had to uh, install for her. And so uh, she was desperately uh, in need of uh, relaxation and uh, to reduce her depression because of lack of sleep. So I gave her the Serena scent. The next morning she came over and she said that she had five and a half hours sleep that night. And the next day she came over while I was having breakfast and she, uh, being a, a, a nun, a nursing sister nun, uh, she said to me, I'd like to bless you, my son. <laughs> now, I'm 60 years old. <laughs> She's a little bit older than me. But she had, that night, eight hours sleep. And that was wonderful. It was wonderful news to hear that. It's the most rewarding thing that's ever happened to me, to hear that from someone who was suffering like that. And so, many other patients uh, had this experience. It was wonderful. And then we appeared in Oprah's magazine. <laughs> now, the important thing is that these green smells are very important. They, they are effective at not only at the individual level, but they're also effective in our society because they reduce uh, crime rates where there's large green spaces. There's a reduction in uh, um, crime rate, there's, a, uh, there's an increase in life expectancy of people living around these green spaces, and very importantly in Japan, uh, they've studied children that suffer from attention deficit when they're taken to forests for a camping trip or something like that, their attention is improved dramatically. Uh, this is called forest bathing. And finally, I would like to end my talk with something that John Muir said, uh, the uh, father of national parks movement around the world. He said, climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. The winds will blow their own freshness into you and the storms their energy, while cares will drop away from you like the leaves of autumn. This is how I felt when I walked uh, around Bridal Veil vale Falls. And now we know possibly why I felt like that. And it's just wonderful. And uh, uh, I'd like to acknowledge all the work that's been done by my colleagues and, uh, before and now, and also the two companies that have supported us, Neuroaroma Laboratories and Aeroroma. Thank you.